in Hollywood. It's the Tom Likas Show. Oh, God. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No, I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TALK. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. This uh, topic is going to be for women to respond. And uh, I can tell you right now, ladies, listen to the article I'm about to read. And then call me here at 1-800-5800-TOM. It's 1-800-5800-866 when you get the gist of it. And I'm going to start taking phone calls in 15 minutes right now. So listen to the article. Then call 1-800-5800-TOM and I'll take your call 15 minutes from right now. Here it is. This comes from the Daily Mail, the London newspaper. It's a tabloid. Young British women leave behind their inhibitions as well as their worries when they go on their summer holiday. That's what the Brits call a vacation, by the way. A survey shows one third of the young British women questioned admitted having slept with at least two men during the same holiday. One in six has had a fling with three or more men, according to the poll of 2,000 women with an average age of 25. A quarter of women cheat while away without their partner, although only one in ten is found out. What did I tell you guys about the girls' weekend in Cabo, the girls' weekend in Puerto Vallarta, the girls' weekend in... uh, Cancun, the girls' weekend in Honolulu, the girls' weekend in Daytona Beach, or wherever it might be, Palm Springs, who cares? The survey in Britain showed that a quarter of women cheat while away from their partner. One quarter. Odds are one in four that she banged somebody else while she went away. Now they go on to say boys are as tempted to stray as girls with the same proportion of men admitting to holiday infidelity. Holiday meaning vacation infidelity. We're not talking about Christmas and New Year's here. We're talking about summer vacation. More than half of the women said it was best to be single during the summer months. Four out of five has had a fling with a fellow holiday maker. In general, what, a holiday maker? You mean a vacationer? Brits are weird. We were just there last fall. They're weird. In general, the women said they were more sexually active while holidaying. Can't they just say vacationing? Is that not a word in England? Vacation? On average, women have three holidays a year during which they have three, I'm sorry, sex three times a day. Their attitude to safe sex also appears to relax while away. Only six out of ten said they pack condoms for their trip, with almost half admitting they do not worry about catching a sexually transmitted disease on holiday. Despite being away, British women still seek home comforts when it comes to holiday romance. Englishmen, I don't think a lot of other women feel this way, especially the rest of Europe. Englishmen are regarded as the most romantic by those questioned in the survey for more magazine. 
Almost half the women had been sexually harassed on holiday. A third had been mugged or had their belongings stolen. And 12% said their accommodation had been broken into. At least that's what they told the boyfriends to excuse what happened while they were gone. <laughs> Chantel Horton, deputy editor of Moore, said, For most young women, a holiday is like a fortnight of Saturdays. They still use, use cute words like fortnight in England. A fortnight of Saturdays, so if they are single, they will want to party as much as possible. Mm, mm, mm. So there you go. Now that's England. And I have no idea what goes on here. I only know when I've been the beneficiary of this kind of thing. I know that when women, first of all, I know that when women leave home, wherever home is, for somewhere else, when they leave their zip code, when they leave their state, and certainly when they leave their country, it doesn't matter if they have a boyfriend, a husband, children, it doesn't matter what they have. When they get away, when they are free, women, in many cases, will do whatever they want. And then they will go home and lie and say, oh, the girls and I, we had a great time. Yeah, we saw a movie, and then we went to Starbucks, and then, you know, we all went shopping. But they don't tell you about the nightclubs they went to, how late they stayed out, when they started macking on some other guy. They don't tell you any of that stuff. Many of you guys uh, tell the girls, oh, okay, honey, uh, you enjoy your trip, bye. You're thinking that... This is all good. But in reality, in many cases, it's not all good. So I would like to talk to women, specifically uh, women who have been on vacation, are going on vacation. Maybe you are on vacation, ladies. And you have left home somebody, an occasional boyfriend, a hardcore boyfriend, a live-in boyfriend, a fiancé. Maybe you left a husband back home. And you have been on vacation, you are on vacation, you're about to go on vacation. Does this survey make sense to you? The idea that women, when they get on vacation, suddenly let loose? Is this you? Have you done this? Are you doing this? Will you do this? Are men naive when they send you off on your own with your friends? You tell me. Damn. Like is 1-800-5-800-86. Tom. I just think, you know, women, honestly, they like to beat around the bush a little more. You know, guys are more straightforward. Nothing I like more than that. The Tom Like is Show. Oh, yeah. It's the Tom Like is Show. You bet it is. At one 800 800 tom thank you for tuning in. So we read to you a survey that talked about why women are more likely than men to cheat when they're on vacation. Now this refers to British women. We wanted to find out uh, how this rings with women. Does it ring true in the United States? one 800 800 tom I promise you the calls in 15 minutes. This is like on the dot, right? This is Leslie on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey, Leslie. Hi. I just I want to call in because I'm a 21 year old female and living in Los Angeles, and I agree with everything you're saying. I, I have no disagreements, and I think honestly, any any women that are listening to this right now and, and thinking that that doesn't happen or they're going to deny it, I. I, I just don't. I it drives me crazy. <laughs> so, well, I happen. Wait, wait, wait! I happen to have one right here, Michelle. You are that woman, aren't you? Yes. Tell Leslie why. I just have never done that. I think it's a British thing. I've never heard of anybody doing that. It, okay. Well, let me tell you. I I think. Um, 
you know, why why do they have the song, you know, for women especially, tequila makes their clothes fall off? Girls get with their girlfriends and they get crazy. That's why they have Girls Gone Wild. That's why they have girls on spring break. And I don't think it matters what age you are. I think women always want to have a good time and they always want to mess around with their girlfriends. And I don't think, and I think a lot of times it's not a malicious thing. I don't think Tom is making it sound like a malicious thing. I think it's just something that, exactly what he said, they want to live a little, they want to have fun. And I, I have to tell you, I've been on numerous trips trips my girlfriends that all, all have boyfriends and have done it and maybe I'm speaking out of experience because I've seen it I guess because I've never been in a situation where it hasn't happened that I can't say that that's not the case so you know but I, I have been on vacation too and I have never ever seen it happen so I guess it's just maybe the class of people we hang around with and I agree <laughs> maybe it's the class the of people <laughs> too yeah, yeah, maybe it's, yeah, yeah, I'm sure that that's what it is. It's the class of people that we hang out with. No, it's not. It's, I, She's saying you have no class, Leslie. Yeah, I, I, I know, know what I, I know said. What I said it's the class of people she hangs out with. I wasn't commenting on her. <laughs> Look. <laughs> you don't think who her friends are reflects on her? I don't know her friends. I'm just saying that it's not something I personally have ever done or know anybody who have ever done that have been in a committed um, relationship when they go on vacation. I'm not saying it does not happen. I'm sure it does. It's just something I have never done. Could it be a generational? It could it be a generational I, thing? Yes, I was just I, going to say that. Tom, I, I, that I, I think, think is an excellent too. point. I think that that's an excellent point. I, they, I could tell you right now, too, I don't think there's one female out there today that is in their 20s that is not a bisexual that is not curious and that's why i think also that that happens and again not not because of a malicious thing not not to be rebellious i think it's just something that happens and i don't think it's a bad thing i i mean you know it, it could be emotional cheating it doesn't matter but either way girls are going to go out and why do you think their slogan in vegas is you know what happens in vegas stays in vegas you know it, it's it's what it is it's what the world is now you know well, I agree with almost everything Tom says, definitely, even though I am older. I'm 44, but I have a 24-year-old daughter that I have her listen to Mr. Likas because I agree with almost everything he says. Mm -hmm. Well, then, okay, then we're in agreement with that. Tom, we both, in, in our own ways, we both agree with you. Oh, look at that. <laughs> See, she's got the 24-year-old daughter. What is her number again, Michelle? <laughs> I'm not giving you her number. <laughs> 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 oh yeah! I've never, my daughter, to my knowledge, and we're pretty tight. I mean, tighter than most. And she's never done anything like that. And if she had, she would have told me because we're that tight. Yeah. No. Yeah. I know yeah, she I, is. And it is, you know, in the twenties. Like, I, it could be an age thing. And I think also, you know, you know, it's it, it's if you're if you trust yourself enough to whatever, that's fine. But I just think that when girls are partying in places like where Tom said, Mexico, Puerto Vallarta, it is it, it's a different environment. You know, I've been a communications major, uh, you know, for four years, and come on, Michelle, Michelle, haven't you ever gone to Cabo? No, I've never been to Cabo. I've seen women take their <laughs> tops off and dance on top of the bar. Come on, yeah, Michelle. Go Go to Cabo and then and go to Cabo with with six girlfriends and then call Tom back. Keep my number and then we'll see what changes. <laughs> off and sleeping with somebody are two different things. <laughs> Darling, let me tell you something. Any woman that gets drunk and takes her top off and dances on top of the bar is liable to do anything. Yeah, well, I, that, I have to agree with you on that. I don't drink, Tom, so I have to agree with you on that one. I mean, you go to Squid Row in Cabo. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Senor Frogs, my friend. Like, yeah. Okay? Yeah, I'm telling you. No getting out of there without something happening. Okay? So. Carlos and well, Charlie's. I, I have yet to experience Cabo. Well, trust me when I tell you, the girls go to Cabo. And they tell the boyfriends, well, you have nothing to worry about. Just me and the girls, honey. It's just me and the girls. There's no guys going. It's just me and the girls. Yeah. And I don't, and, and, and that's a good point. I truthfully don't think, I don't think that any, I don't think that any guy would be, would feel very confident letting his girlfriend go, oh, sure, honey, you're not going to do anything. I, I'm sorry. My parents have been married for 30 years, and I think to this day my mom still goes out, you know, on her girl trips, and who the, who the hell knows what happens? I don't even know, you know? But, like, you know, you know my dad's not stupid. I, I, I think... 
I don't know. I just think it's a different country, and and if, and if there's a way that they'll never find out, I don't see. I don't know, but it's a personal opinion. I you know, and it, and it could very well be an environmental issue of where you are, what country, and and also what alcohol you've had to drink. But you know, that's that's a different. Well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> yes, but the girls get true. soused. Believe me, the girls are not drinking uh, wine spritzers and light beer. Well, it yes. just surprises me in the first room. place. <laughs> Trust me when I tell you. The British are so uptight. Well, the British, yeah, there's no doubt the British are uptight. And the women look like the Pillsbury Dough Girl, but that's beside the point. <laughs> exactly. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's if yes. the Pillsbury Dough Girl had buck tea. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, I, I appreciate it, Tom. It, it's been great. And I, yeah, yeah, yeah take, okay, can you take me out with a bong rip? I certainly can. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Thank you for tuning into the Tom Likas Show. I got to tell you something. <laughs> if I had a girlfriend or a wife, there's no way I I would tolerate her going on vacations with the girls. It just would. It, you know, she could obviously. I'm not a controlling individual. You can go anywhere you want, ladies. You can do what you want. You can go where you want. Even if I were in a relationship, I could never make you do anything. But I could change the locks after you came back. <laughs> I could tell you you better hire an attorney if we're married. I could tell you. <laughs> I could tell you uh, uh, this relationship is over. I could refuse to take your calls when you return to town. I could do that. And that is what I would do. I mean, I... Uh, I'm not married now, and I'm not in a live-in relationship now, and I'm going to tell you right now. If I were with a woman and she told me she was going with the girls to any of those places, Cabo, Cancun, Key West, to Daytona Beach, Palm Springs, Puerto Vallarta, you name it. If she told me she was going away with the girls, I'd say, have fun, see ya, and that would be the last we'd see of each other. It would be over at that time. No two ways about it. It would be over. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's the Tom Likas Show. My name, of course, is, well, I'm that guy, you know. And I'm talking about a survey that was done in Britain that said that women are more likely to cheat when they go on vacation in the summertime. Now, I'm wondering, ladies, if uh, you ever uh, done this, if you're doing it, if you're planning on doing it. Are these guys who uh, let you go on these trips and just say, have fun with the girls? Are they stupid? Come on, do tell. 1-800-5800-866. Now, this is not a girl, but, uh, Ed, what did you want to say here? My, my opinion is if you're out of the country or out of the state, it's not cheating. You know, it, that's your opinion? That's my opinion. Uh, so how do you define the city? Is it your zip code? Is it uh, the metropolitan area? How do you define the city? Uh, like, I live in, I live in Canada. So... I'm out of the country. I'm not even in Canada. I'm in L.A. Right. But, uh, like, could you stay in your province? Like, if you were in British Columbia and your wife were in British Columbia, but you were in uh, Van Victoria and she were in Vancouver, would it be okay to cheat then, or do you have to leave the country altogether? No, no, that, that would work. That's two different, that's two different zip codes. Two different zip codes. Well, they don't even have zip codes in Canada, but I know, yes, two different postal codes. Absolutely. <laughs> that's the way I look at it. It's all fun. Now, um, are you married? No, no, I just actually went through a uh, messy separation. Oh, you did? Is that because you were screwing around? No, actually she was. Like I said, I was out of the zip code. So you're out of the zip code and she was screwing around? <laughs> I see. All right, Ed, thank you for that. 1-800-5800-TOM, that's our telephone number. By the way, congratulations to Jimmy Kimmel. Just split up with Sarah Silverman. Is that Sarah Jessica Silverman? Yeah, I, I say congratulations uh, for any number of reasons, not the least of which is he doesn't have to pretend he finds Sarah Silverman funny anymore. That alone would be a big stress on my back. I'll tell you what. Oh, yeah. That's a great bit, Sarah. That's funny. That's funny. Yeah, that's really, well, that comedy central show is hysterical. Doesn't have to do that anymore. 
There goes Sarah out of his life. Boom. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's William. Hello. William? Yeah. You busy over there? <laughs> I'm just on my way home from work, Tom. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Um, what I'm saying is I wouldn't care for um, her right now. And um, I don't care if she go on vacation. I'll be trying to get her to have girlfriends and stuff, you know? <laughs> and uh, somewhere. Hey, 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 we're on the air. You can't say that word. Oh, my bad. But I tell her, go, you know, go have fun. I'll give her four or five hundred bucks, you know, just to get out of my hair. You know, go live a little, you know. And, and, um, and is that because you're going to do what you want when she's gone? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, Tom. You know, really? I, I got a, you know, I got a few on the side, you know. But really? Yeah. I just, you know. Well, it's nothing like true love, huh, William? Nothing like true love, man. I tell them all, I, I love all the women. <laughs> yeah, alphabetically. Yeah, I agree with you 100%. I, I'm a short-time listener. I just got, you know, I've been listening to you for about like two months, and uh, I really, oh, man, I, I feel all the way like you do. Sometimes I be thinking, man, why did I get into this relationship? She's been trying to push me to marry her for the longest. <laughs> and I'm like... Ain't no way I'm gonna marry you. You already getting on my nerves, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, the first way out of here, man, I'm gone, and that's it. I'm not getting in no more relationships. I'm gonna be living like the way you live, dog. That's the way to do it. Yeah. Half anything so, that moves, no excuses, no lying. No lying. <laughs> Cause I'll be trying to come up with all kind of excuses to get up out of here, but every time I find a road to break up, she all apologizes, cooking me dinner and everything. That's what else. they do. They start cooking. Man. They they and get they got, get a Thomas guy and they find directions to the kitchen. That's what they do. Yeah, she got five kids. She wants to have some by me, but I'm like, no way. Oh my. <laughs> yeah, I, I you know, I don't have no kids with her I wear you know, my I wear condoms all the time, and I tell her, man, I'll, it's this protection, you know? I don't want no more kids right now, so. Yeah, now, she doesn't have access to those. She can't put holes in them or anything, can she? Uh, <laughs> oh, man, she's always finding condoms and stuff in my pocket. <laughs> I'll bet she is. Huh? <laughs> I said, I'll yeah. bet she is, for God's sake. William, thank you for the call. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Look at this. Here comes Brandon. On the Tom like his show, hello. Hey, how's it going, Tom? Going okay. No, uh, man, uh, got my girl, man. She's, uh, going to Jamaica with, uh, with a couple of her girls, man. And it's funny because me and her was in the car just now. And, and once she started bringing up the subject about this, I'm looking at her. I'm like, uh huh. Uh huh. And she's just looking at me like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? And we got the station. It's funny that you just brought this up because she was just talking about her trip. <laughs> So what's going to happen? Huh? So what's going to happen? I don't know, man. She said it's just, you know, just the girls going. I'm listening to you, man. You know, you ain't never steered me wrong, so. You don't let the girl. Well, the, she can go anywhere she wants. You can't tell her what oh, to yeah. do. But, oh, no, I, I know that. She can go wherever she wants. But when she comes back, she may not get in. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, God only knows who or what she picked up on vacation. Exactly. Who knows? You know, unless she's going to Jamaica. Oh, yeah. Jamaica. So, yeah, you know, those island dudes out there, man, they they got that accent. You know, they just get so so soggy for them. That's right. And is she going to go out scuba diving or something? Scuba diving and yeah. probably going to uh, going, um, go out and check out the beaches and the bars and, you know, how oh, yeah. because she drinks too, so. Not to mention all those scuba instructors and what they try uh, to pull off. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I saw that movie with Ben Stiller, man. I saw the right. scuba instructor. So you know the deal. I already know the deal. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Brandon. All right. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Steve on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Steve. My, uh, uh, my brother-in-law, uh, just hooked up with a married lady from Arizona. Uh, and they've been gone for like four days, uh, just disappeared out of, uh, out of pocket. They've been going to the beach, going to hotels, da 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 da. 
this chick's married, and you know she's come up here for one reason and one reason only, and that's just to uh, just to bang somebody who's not her husband. Really, it's true. Uh, that's that's what they do. That's and exactly by the way, and, you know, and I, I I said to him like, did you think this is a good idea? And he goes, ah, uh, it's a long ways away. Nobody can else. I be honest with you? Yeah, you know, uh, when I have had this show on the road doing our show from various locales, yeah, you wouldn't believe. How many married and involved women uh, want to come see my uh, broadcast live uh -huh. and then want to know where the crew is partying? And then uh, <laughs> pretty soon we're all partying, if you know what I mean. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Well, Tom, thank you. I hope uh, I hope some of the some girls will call in and, and admit that what it is that they're doing out there. So uh, thanks a lot and blow me up, please. Here you go, Steve. Like 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Women are the biggest snakes there are. So you might as well get what you can and get rid of them before you get bit. It's the Tom Likas Show. What my name is Tom Likas. And this is where you'll find me. And if you have to leave the car, come back. Sure. We're right here for you. You bet. 1-800-5-800-TOM. That's our telephone number. We're talking about a survey from Britain that says that their chicks cheat when they get away from the boyfriend and take a vacation. Colleen on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. I think probably the reason I'm married uh, three times is because I did some vacationing by myself. There we go. I, I don't support it. Really, I don't. I've got a, a wonderful husband. Unfortunately, he's not the father of my children, but hey, we do our best. He's um, he's committed to me and I to him, and we enjoy each other's company. If we get the opportunity to have a vacation, we do it together. Okay. I just think that, you know, I've seen, I've got some crazy girlfriends, and I've got some real crazy girlfriends who say, come on, let's meet in Jamaica, and, and I debated it, and I just think it just spells nothing but trouble. And it's not my scene, and I'm over and done with that stuff, and I had to learn all this stuff the hard way. So you know what they're doing? Oh, for sure. I know what they're doing. I see what they're doing. It's been happening for years. There we go. And they're not the least bit guilty about it. They just think, Yahoo, right on, sister, and everybody's had a good time, and nobody's talking, and it sucks, because I'm friends with their husbands often, the, time, the case, and, you know, I, I just, it's not my scene. I have three single sisters. Actually, one of my sisters, oh, I'm going to be killed for saying this, is that singer Alana Miles. Um, do you know who Lena Miles is? Vaguely. That song, Black Velvet. And, oh gosh, now people are going to know who I am. I need to be careful. Uh -oh. And he's, all three of my sisters are single, none of whom have been married. I think all of them are in the, <laughs> oh, I better be careful, therapy. I think um, my uh, my husband is my therapist. Um, it was very difficult, the way we were raised. And um, I think a lot of people, if you get um, love from a very early age, you learn how to have a conduct a balanced relationship and a lot of people just don't know how to commit because they don't know how to give true love and receive true love love thyself i guess but anyway i'm on number three and i couldn't be happier until number four no that ain't happening how do you know um because i know i've finally grown up he's he's my i hate to use that expression full mate but we really click and he's a good man He's a really good man. I moved all the way across the country to, to be with him. I'm here in California, left everything behind in Canada. And um, it's not, uh, I was making more money. I mean, I can't work here, but I was making a lot of money before I left. I Are you an that. illegal alien? <laughs> Maybe, huh? Oh, boy. Bit. But it's okay. i got to go home every six months, and that way we keep it legal, right? All right, so you are legal. Uh, no, I'm, I'm okay, but I haven't been home in six months, so. Well, you know. but once you go to six months and one day, then you're not legal. Okay, then I'm not legal. Ooh. <laughs> I well, wish that uh, I wish that it was easier to live here and work here, uh, and not always be fearful of uh, of all the stupid laws. It's the, it's the well, we don't want the furners taking away our jobs. Well, I I think I bring something positive uh, when I come over. Really, what would that be? I'm a good person. I'm not. I'm a law-abiding citizen. Oh, I, plenty of illegal aliens are good people. Well, you know, I hate to say it, but living here in California, there's a lot of, they really slam the Mexicans, and I used to hate it initially, and now I'm here to tell you, I've been witness to this gangbang stuff, and I'm, I'm telling you, it's not a, it's not a pretty scene. Well, I'll tell you what, if you'd like to come over and trim my hedges this weekend, uh, there's 20 bucks in it for you. Ew, no thanks. I, I've got something going on. I, um, 
I breed and, and sell and show uh, chihuahuas. And oh, so you're illegally doing business here. I see. No, it's not really doing business. I'm always trying to breed well, something. Well, if you're, if you're creating something and selling it, that, that would be called doing business. Well, they're not. They're they're the dogs belong to my husband. Everything's in his name, and I. It'll take another four years. So he is helping you to conceal the fact that you're breaking the law. Oh, you know what? There are so many laws that are that are horrible to break. This one is so silly. It's so mild. Wow. I'm saying, and I'm I'm comfortable here. I like it here. I would prefer to move back, but he had some Revenue Canada taxation issues and an audit gone bad, and. He doesn't want to move back. He absolutely hates Canada. So uh, he's a lawbreaker, too. No, he's he lived here for 30 years. He's got a Social Security number. I don't mean that. I mean he had some kind of a tax issue with the government. Oh, heck no. Let me tell you, he's the most integral man I've ever met in my life. He's the most integral? Life. Yeah. Is that a Canadian word or something? <laughs> he's, he's got integrity. He's a wonderful person who's honest and did everything right. He moved to Canada, filed his taxes like a wonderful tax paying citizen, and they decided they didn't like how he filed them. And, uh, oh, it's just, it's just been horrible. They, it's, it's over a million dollars they've tagged him for. So you'd like to go back there. You'd like to live here. Well, yeah, I'm definitely split. Um, I like a lot about here, but, of course, it's not home. And my children are in Canada. My daughter's leaving uh, August 2nd to go to college um, in Canada. she got two scholarships, and she's leaving for Ottawa. And my son is there and in college, but their father won't pay for their college unless they return to Canada, which I can, I can, I can accept. It's time to let him go. But mm. my friends are there, and... Um, I don't like the winter. Yeah, I'm torn between two lovers, and that isn't men. Can you sing the Canadian National Anthem for us, please? Oh, heck, don't make me do that. Because i got a famous sister, everybody's always asking me to sing. Come on. Oh, Canada. There, you got the first part. Is that all yeah. I get? <laughs> yeah, that's, I don't want to sing. Come on, in French, too. Oh, you know, and I used to think bilingual. was how stupid I was. It was French and English and bilingual. <laughs> I moved here. Guess what? Bilingual means Spanish and English, too. Um, I we are forced to take French, and I know a little bit of it. But um, mm. I, oh, why don't you sing Black Velvet for? Oh my God! That's my sister, Easter. I know. That's Atlanta. That's not her real last name. I figured it isn't. Uh, because don't you have the metric system in Canada? Pardon me? Don't you have the metric system in Canada? Yes. Can't be named miles. Probably have to be named kilometers. <laughs> I still say kilometers. The, the state needs to switch over, man. It's really confusing. I understand. Well, uh, Hang on a second there, Colleen. But Bill, what did you want to say to Colleen here? <laughs> well, the reason why she's been married three times is because she's a whack job, Tom. <laughs> I mean, come on, you come on here and you're spilling out all your personal information and going, oh, i got to be careful. You know, you need to be careful because you are split. You are two and Nobody people. knows Nobody knows my last name. It really hardly matters, you know. Hey, yeah, have you ever crazy. heard of the Internet? Research is an easy thing to do when you're spilling stuff like that. So hey, take you're your right. act Thank on the you. road. I... You can't get it done. So take your act on the road back to Canada. Aw, you're mean. <laughs> you're whack. You're just another attention whore. Ooh, that's ugly. I, that's I guess uh, I guess I'm lonely for my children and my family, and I just I like listening to the Tom show, and I didn't realize I've never been on the radio before, so um, I'm going to sign off now because I probably already said too much, as you said. But wait, 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 one more, Jason. What do you want to say to Colleen? Uh, Colleen, you are a criminal, okay, and you're also a hypocrite. And a bigot. I'll tell you, <laughs> let me tell you something. There are gang bangers in all races, whether they're Armenian, Russian, white people, black people, Mexican, not just Mexicans. So, you know what? Shut your ass and take your bitchy ass back to Canada, okay? I don't want to hear about you anymore. <laughs> she hung up already. <laughs> Nobody knows my last name. <laughs> Oh, boy. <laughs> 1 800. Dean's working on that right now, as a matter of fact. 1 800. By the way, attention, INS. Can we make it any easier for you? <laughs> They'll be subpoenaing that tape within the hour, Gary. <laughs> the Department of Homeland Security will be on the phone. Here it comes. <laughs> 
And six years from now, as we've gone through six years of depositions and hearings downtown at the Department of Homeland Security, you're going to say, why do we even let that call on the air? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Wow. It's Mike on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing, man? I'm doing okay, Mike. Yeah, I uh, I, I got to be honest with you. I'm a little surprised more women aren't calling in. They uh, they always go crazy on vacation. I had a I had a girlfriend that I was dating a couple of years back. Went to Costa Rica. By the way, Alana Miles' real last name. What's that? Alana Miles' real last name. <laughs> it, believe it or not, it's Biles. <laughs> oh, you're kidding! That's funny. B y l e s. <laughs> It's on the internet. I mean, you know, what are we going to do? Sit here and pretend we can't look it up ourselves? Come on. <laughs> Sorry, Mike. Didn't mean to interrupt. Oh, that's all right. I just, uh, I, I, I think we need to hear from more women that are doing this. I had an ex-girlfriend who went to Costa Rica, and the funny thing was she went down to do, like, quote-unquote charity work. And we I'm sure she did. What's that? I'm sure she did so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she comes home and she says, so guess what? I met this pool boy and we had a fun weekend, which wasn't a big deal because we were just seeing each other. Right. She gets pregnant. She keeps it. And then, of course, who does she want to become, a, like, to get into an exclusive relationship with? Well, you, of course. Well, of course. Why anyway. would you want to do that? Well, I didn't, obviously. <laughs> But, but at least she was honest about it, which was cool. Most women aren't honest about but it. But she was honest. No, no, but you got to remember. Go crazy. You have to remember that, that uh, there is an inverse proportion between honesty and emotional investment in a relationship. <laughs> so you have to understand the most honesty comes when you have the least emotional investment. I always use as my example somebody who I've known who I was banging through a series of relationships. I would have a relationship, but she would always be available to me on the side. And by the way, she was also having various relationships. And so we would have these amazing conversations, just these amazing conversations, amazing only because they were so brutally honest. I did this, oh yeah, well I did this, oh yeah, well I did this, oh yeah, well I did this. It was like very, very open and honest until came the time when she said, you know... <laughs> She started getting, like, interested in something more of a relationship and started at, and then all of a sudden I started getting, being asked where I am and what I'm doing and what time it is and who I, where, why am I out so late and blah, blah, blah. Well, it turns out I later find out she, she was lying while she was banging some other guy she never told me about. Yeah, First time ever. The thing is, the le and this is the irony of it, because people love to say their wife is their best friend or their husband is their best friend. You get the most honesty when there's the least amount of involvement. Makes perfect sense. I, uh, guys who are having affairs, think about it. How many times have you told your hooker or told that chick you were banging who worked in the office that your wife didn't know about? You, you told them everything. You told them everything. Things you would never tell your wife or your girlfriend. That's because you had no emotional investment. You so think, true. Yeah. All right, Mike, thank you for that. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Here comes Gary on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, how you doing, Tom? How you doing? Excuse me? Never mind. Go oh, ahead. Oh, okay. Um, that's to Gary Forrest. Are you calling on Skype or something? What's that? Are you calling on Skype or something? No, I'm, I'm calling from work. Well, are you using one of those uh, alternate uh, internet services or something? No, no, I'm not. Uh, oh. Okay. You hear a background noise? Or? I, I hear my own voice coming back. Oh. oh. Uh, hold on one second, Tom. <laughs> yeah, shake the phone. That'll fix it. Hello, hello, Tom. Sorry. Well, that's way better. Oh, okay. Well, real quick, I just want to let you know that I got married uh, about last month. And now the best man of my wedding, um, his fiance wants to go 
go on a big bachelorette binge. Oh, now after you're married, huh? Yeah. And now they're going on, like, some cruise that cruises Mexico and all that stuff. All right, sucker. And you're going to say yes to that, are you? Well, I have to. No, you don't. Well, it's a, it's, I feel that it's a test to see... Sucker! The Tom Likas Show.